Throughout the day, a strange asteroid had been spotted in multiple areas around the world. Eventually, a spacecraft landed in Dorado. An eyewitness has first-hand testimony as to what happened. Yeah, I was like nearby just getting some tacos and straight up, out of nowhere, boom, it just crashed down right in front of me. I almost dropped my tacos, which would have like ruined the whole day. It's July 27th. If I'm not alive, they got me. Okay, I've been telling everybody since day one that there are people on Mars. Nobody believed me, but now we have apparently a Martian. It's not a human, it's a Martian. Space Ranger? No, 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 no. Space Danger. There's an alien out there and they're coming for us. I'm not crazy. Juno, no, not the movie. Juno is the, hold up. Juno is the 41st hero in Overwatch 2. Wow, this game is really getting to that middle-aged number. And she is the newest support hero. Her real name is Teo Min. She grew up on Mars, in one of the Mars colonies with her dad. And apparently she destroyed a bunch of asteroids, like the video game, but for real. Juno ended up eventually coming to Earth on an escape pod, which could actually be seen on multiple maps as a little teaser for her. So that's fun. Her pod landed in Dorado, and all that was left inside is a picture of May and a mystery woman, perhaps Juno's mother. After eventually coming to Earth, she did her best to learn all of the Earth's languages. So she is extremely multilingual, which is what I'm doing too. So yeah, we're literally the same. Los perros escribieron dos cartas ayer. Los perros escribieron dos cartas ayer. While on Earth, she found the gravity here to be a bit harder to adjust to. It could be all that cake, but it's probably just the gravity. Anyways, she's on a mission to find somebody. Who it is, we have yet to discover. Not much is really known about Juno. We'll obviously find out more when she officially arrives in Season 12. But now that you know a little bit about her, let's learn how to play her, shall we? Juno's first ability is her Martian Overboots. This is her passive ability, which allows for her to double jump and also float around in the air so she doesn't immediately touch the ground. The float is kind of like Mercy, so she can easily double jump to areas that other people have to walk to. Stairs? Psh! Stairs. All my homies hate stairs. Her weapon of choice is the Medi Blaster. She shoots a burst of shots that can do anywhere from 25 to 84 damage per burst. And similar to Ana, shooting teammates will also heal them for 25 to 84 healing per burst. The damage and healing does have a fall off after 30 meters. And it also can't headshot. So while she isn't going to be killing everything, it is a hit scan weapon. So the damage can be what you need to secure a kill on a weakened enemy. And even though it does have damage fall off, you can shoot people from pretty far far away and get some damage in and even a kill. And you can even heal people from really far away as well. So you're actually more of a ranged healer than most supports. And since it is a hit scan, it does feel a little bit easier to heal than Ana. So even you noobs out there, you'll actually be supporting pretty well. Unlike all these Ana players who can't even lock on and shoot their own team's tracer. Stand still! Juno's first ability is Glide Boost. She gets a huge movement speed dash at the start and then a 50% speed boost for four seconds. During this time, gravity doesn't affect her and she'll stay floating without descending. This movement is so good for pushing in aggressively with your team. And when your aggressive team ends up dying, Juno can use this ability to escape with her life. Seriously, she might be one of the slipperiest heroes. A good Juno can just zip out of there and fully recover. And a bad Juno? Well, a bad Juno will get stuck behind a sign. No, I got stuck behind the... No! I got stuck behind the fence, you saw that? Her second ability is the Hyper Ring. This ring gives you and any teammate who uses it a 50% speed boost and lasts six seconds. This, in combination with her Glide Boost, makes her so freaking fast. It's like your Lucio, but with extra steps. You should use it to have your team push weakened enemies and secure kills. Even if people try and run away, that boost is a big deal. You can even use the ring multiple times too. You can go in and out and in and out. You can use both of these abilities combined to dodge big ultimates like Tracer Bomb or Diva Bomb or really anything with the bomb. Juno? More like, Juno touch me at all. 
Her final ability is her Pulsar Torpedoes. Pulsars? Pulsar? I don't... Anyway, they'll lock on to enemies and teammates and either do 75 burst damage or 75 burst healing. This ability is really solid for ensuring that your teammates all survive as it heals multiple at once. It can be exactly what your team needs to secure a kill on a weakened enemy since it will lock onto them and pop them. You can't use anything else when using this ability, so if your team needs the heals, you just gotta use it already. Don't waste time trying to get four people. Your team is dying. Use it. I do recommend not even attempting to use it until there are at least two people around, enemies or teammates, because otherwise it's kind of a waste. And if you fat finger it, too bad, it's on cooldown now. And finally, Juno's ultimate is Orbital Ray. It's like Breach's ultimate from Valorant, but if it healed instead of committing a war crime. Open up the sky! Stim beacon down. One enemy remaining. It heals 100 HP per second and will heal a total of 1000 HP per target. It also grants your team a damage boost of 35% as well. It does have a mind of its own and will travel 16 meters in front of Juno, so make sure you point it in the right direction. You can use this ultimate to retake a point and ensure your team will win a fight, since the healing and damage boost is pretty great. It can be used more defensively as well to counter big ultimates and ensure your team's survival. It's really just a decent support ultimate, and it usually does its job to keep the team alive and fight harder. I'm not crazy. So listen to these pro tips. Number one, Juno pairs well with dive heroes, since she can go in aggressively with them to push other healers and weakened enemies, and then get out just as easily. But I also think she pairs well with slower characters that need the boost in speed, like Reinhardt and Zarya. In combination with Lucio, your entire team will just be zooming. Number two, Juno's movement is actually incredible for getting back to a point a lot faster. Similar to how with Lucio you can taxi other teammates, her ring does the same thing. So if you need to stall a stall point, swap to Juno and you'll get there pretty fast. Number three, Juno can't heal through shields. So she is kind of countered by Winston. If a Winston goes in and attacks your team, you can't heal them with your gun or any of your abilities. So Winston is a pretty strong counter. D.Va can also eat up all of your shots and even your torpedoes, rendering you pretty useless as a healer. So ironically, while she works well with dive tanks, those same tanks make it so much harder to play against. And number four. This last tip is more some suggestions to improve Juno, because at the moment, she feels a bit underwhelming. Everything she does is done better by Ana or Lucio. Ana has more heals and more utility, and Lucio provides more speed and movement for the team. And Lucio has an even better defensive ultimate. So one thing that I would suggest is make her damage a bit better, and just allow for her to headshot. Her damage output at the moment feels like nothing, and if she was just a bit stronger, it would help her differentiate herself from Ana and Lucio. Also, the ultimate could be a bit more mobile and provide a little more healing because right now it doesn't really protect the team the way Lucio's and Yada or even Life Weaver's result does and offensively it's just a worse version of Kiriko's ultimate. I just feel like every time I try and use it more defensively it does nothing and my team just ends up dying so I just wasted an ultimate. These are just some suggestions. I could be completely wrong and find out that she's actually broken but I highly doubt that. Overall, Juno is an interesting addition to the game. I like her concept, her design is great, and I can't wait to see what she brings to the overall lore of Overwatch. But how is she for noobs? For noobs, I would say she's medium difficulty to play. You have to be decent at aiming and know when to use her ultimate to get the most value. But most noobs won't struggle that much with her, if I'm being honest. But what do you think? Have you tried Juno? And if so, do you think she's easy to play or hard to play? Do you think she's underpowered and needs buffs or overpowered and needs nerfs? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I want more tacos, so uh, I'll catch you later. Ya noob!